all look different and sound different, but we all share a common human ancestor that lived more than 7 million years ago. Starting with the first chimps, there are so many hominin species that lived before us. Welcome guys to another video on human species. We have given you descriptions, we have given you timeline of all these species, a versus video and even a size comparison. This time we are here to give you their origins which is mainly known through fossil sites. Before we begin, a reminder to remember to check our previous videos and hit like and subscribe. Now, like I said in my previous videos, Africa is the main continent where most of the species fossils were found which also gives scientists the idea of their origin. So let us begin. Sahel Anthropus Chadensis The species was found to have resided in West Central Africa and based on their fossilized fauna remains at the site such as freshwater fish, rodents and monkeys, it is likely that S. Chidensis inhabited a forest environment in close proximity to an ancient lake. Auroran to Genensis There are only two known sites for the species, Aragai and Capsimon, both of which are in the Tugan Hills of Kenya, which suggests they might have resided in eastern Africa. Ardipithecus Kadaba Fossils were found in the middle Awash region of eastern Africa. Ardipithecus ramidus. With East Africa being the hotbed of hominin fossils, this species was also found to have been originated from the Middle Awash region and Ghana, Ethiopia of Eastern Africa. Australopithecus animensis. Fossils of this species have been found in a variety of paleo environmental settings such as lakeside, woodland, and more open areas of Eastern Africa like Lake Takana, Kenya, and Middle Awash, Ethiopia. Australopithecus afarensis This species was said to have inhabited a mixed woodland environment that is thought to have been more open than previous hominin habitats. Areas included Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania of Eastern Africa. Australopithecus prometheus Mostly compared to A. africanus, sites of this species is the Sturk Fountain area of South Africa. Australopithecus barrel ghazali the partial mandible of this species was discovered by Michel Brunet at Bar el Ghazal, Chad. Kenyanthropus platyops. Sharing similarities with A. animensis and afarensis, this species was also found to have inhabited eastern Africa since fossils were discovered from west to Ghana, Kenya. Australopithecus africanus. There is a huge controversy relating to the species' habitat. The actual habitat are several areas of southern Africa, but people debate on if they lived in a closed forest or an open environment. Moving to the Paranthropines, we have Paranthropus aethiopicus. With fossils found in areas of eastern Africa, including Takana Basin of northern Kenya and southern Ethiopia, the environment of the habitat was found to be favoring the species with dietary adaptations that allowed them to survive. Australopithecus garhi Fossils of this species were mainly found from eastern Africa at the site of Bauri, Middle Awash, Ethiopia. A garhi were also thought to be more terrestrial. Homo habilis This species mainly inhabited eastern and southern Africa. There is evidence of repeated use sites which means that individuals returned to particular areas to meet. They are not thought to have settled in any one area but rather moved about the close by areas in their pursuit for food. Paranthropus boise Inhabiting Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania and Malawi of Eastern Africa, they were probably the one that suffered the most because by the time they arrived, forests had started receding and grasslands expanding, making it a hard time for them to find food that suited their chewing capabilities. Australopithecus sediba Mostly found in Malapa, Southern Africa, the habitat of this species is thought to have been a mosaic environment of wood and grasslands. Although fossilized particles of plant tissue found from their tooth animal indicate that they may have had access to forest products. Paranthropus robustus 
said to have inhabited Swatkran's Kurondrai, Dromolin, Gondolin and Cooper's Cave of South Africa. This species was found to be on more of an herbivore diet and through isotopic analysis of strontium in their teeth, it indicates that females did not grow up where their fossils were found. Homo rudolfensis their environment did not differ much from that of H. habilis, living in parts of eastern Africa, including northern Kenya, possibly northern Tanzania and Malawi, but they may have been able to process tougher food items with their more muscular masticatory organ. Homo georgicus with fossils only found in Manisi, Georgia, the environment at the time when H. georgicus arrived is thought to have been a mosaic of forests and steppes. Homo erectus, the first to migrate out of Africa. This species reached northern, eastern and southern Africa as well as western Asia and East Asia, probably China and Indonesia. They lived in a mix of environments consisting of a variety of forest types, freshwater lakes and rivers, brackish marshes and grasslands. Homo ergaster this species was found to have possibly inhabited Algeria, Morocco, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania and South Africa. The reason for them migrating out of Africa may be due to the area becoming too hot and arid during the time of their existence. Homo gotengensis Fossils were found in Stirk Fountain Cave near Johannesburg, South Africa. But besides physical characteristics, not much is known about this species. Homo antecessor. The earliest site for fossils of this species is Spain, suggesting that they may have crossed the Mediterranean Sea from North Africa during a period of lower sea levels. Homo hedelbergensis. Evidence of the first building free standing structures shows that they lived in Europe, possibly Asia, in China, and Eastern and Southern Africa. Homo sapronensis. Fossils of this species was found in Italy, Europe, but we don't know for sure if that is the place that the individuals inhabited. Homo rodensiensis, also referred to as the African Neanderthal, this species was found to have made South Central Africa their home while they were alive. Homo naledi, fossils of this species were obviously found in the Dinaledi chamber situated in South Africa as described by scientists but with not enough evidence, some say the fossils may have been washed there by natural force. Denisova hominin They inhabited the mountains of Russia. The environment of the area must have been at least seasonally cold since mountains surrounding the area were covered with glacial ice during the late Pleistocene. Homo neanderthalensis Inhabiting Europe and southwestern to Central Asia during the Ice Age, they are the ones that endured the worst of weathers. Homo sapiens idaltu Scientists have found that these extinct subspecies of the modern humans lived in Pleistocene Africa and fossils were discovered from Herterbury, Africa. Homo floresiensis Named after the island they were found in Indonesia, Flores was primarily a tropical forest during the time. Homo luzonensis, a proof that previous human species made it to Southeast Asia was when fossils of this species was found in Philippines. The find shows that human evolution in the region may have been a highly complicated affair with three or more human species in the region at around the time our ancestors arrived. Red Deer Cave People Scientists say they may possibly have been the youngest living pre-modern humans living in Eurasia besides the Neanderthals and the Denisovans after the fossils were found in China. Homo sapiens sapiens With the earliest fossil evidence found in East Africa, we have managed to spread all over the world. It can certainly be said that we humans are special relative to past and present species and we have changed the world in both wonderful and terrible ways. He is hoping that our time on earth will continue so that we do not become just another extinct hominin in the fossil record. So thanks for watching guys. Do remember to hit like and subscribe and if there are any videos you'd like to see from us on human species, do definitely drop in your suggestions in the comment section below.